Today, everyone, our topic for today will be all about the zero and negative exponents. For the learning target, I can simplify and evaluate polynomials using zero and negative rule for raw exponents. Rule of exponents for division are negative exponents. First, if the exponent of the numerator is less than that of the denominator, then we will follow the concept of x raised to m over x raised to n. And that will be equal to 1 over x raised to n minus m. Following the concept, here is the example. We have number 1, x raised to 3 or x squared or x cubed rather over x raised to 6. Now, for the quotient rule, we simply subtract the exponents. We have x raised to 3 minus 6. And then, as we all know, this will become a negative 3 on the exponent. Now, in applying the negative exponent rule, we have the final answer 1 over x cubed. Now, how is this possible? Because we will get the reciprocal of our base since we must make the exponent positive. So for the reciprocal of the base of x, that will become 1 over x cubed. Okay, so this will be our final answer to make the exponent positive. Next, for the next example, we have x raised to 4, y squared over x squared, and y over, or y raised to 7. Now, for applying the quotient rule, we simply subtract the exponent of the same base. We have x raised to 4 minus 2, and then y raised to 2 minus 7. And this will become x squared and y raised to negative 5. And then y as a base, we have a negative 5. Now to get rid of negative 5, we will get again the reciprocal of the base of y. So we will have the final answer x squared over y raised to 5. Next example, same concept. We have 45a raised to 5 over 9a raised to positive 9. And as you know, we have to get the quotient of 45 divided by 9. That will become 5. Keep the base, which is a, and then subtract its, its exponent. We have 5 minus 9. And then the answer will be 5a raised to negative 4. And as I say, in order to get a positive 4 as our exponent or to get rid of the negative sign, we just need to get the reciprocal of the base. So we will have the numerator 5 and then we will um, the a raised to negative 4 will become now an a raised to positive 4. Next example, we have m squared and n raised to 5 over m raised to 4 and n raised to 10 exponent. Now, um, again, apply the quotient rule wherein we subtract 2 and 4 and then the exponent 5 and 10. And to get that, we have both the exponent um, in negative sign. So, negative 2 and negative 5. Now, how are we going to make it positive? Again, uh, take or get the reciprocal of its base. And we will just um, move it to the denominator. And we have the numerator 1. And then, we have m squared and n to the fifth power. Another example is we have the given 5 raised to negative 2. Okay, and this will become 1 over 5 raised to 2. Again, to get rid or to 
um, to get the reciprocal of well, the base, we shall get 1 over 5 raised to 2 or 5 squared. Okay, and to simplify, we have 1. Okay, we will get the square of 5. So 5 times 5, that will become 25. So the final answer is 1 over one, uh, 25. Next example, we all have here both negative exponent 8 raised to negative 3 and 8 raised to negative 4. Okay, so for this one, we have to subtract its exponent. So we have 8 raised to negative 3 minus a negative 4. And following the our rule for subtraction and integers, it will now become negative 3 plus 4. So, to simplify that, this will become 8 raised to 1 or simply 8. Rule of exponents for division is 0 exponent. Is it, it says here that any number raised to 0 is equal to 1 except 0. So, in this concept, uh, we should remember x raised to m over x raised to n. We will again, uh, base on a quotient rule, we subtract or we keep the base x and then m minus n. That will be equal to x raised to 0 or 1. See for this following example, we use of the concept zero exponent. We have 6 raised to 0, that will be equal 1. Negative 4 raised to 0, that will also be equal 1. And negative 4 okay, raised to 0, that will be a negative 1. By the way, any number or any variables or any terms raised to 0, that will become 1. We have here, next example, uh, we have x cube y raised to the 5 or to the 5th power over 9z raised to 6. Okay, it is all in parentheses, meaning all these terms or this term is raised all in 0. So that will be equal to 1. There will be no changes, it is all raised to 0. Okay. Uh, we have here 2x raised to 0, y raised or y squared over y. Now, since our base here, which is x, has a, a 0 exponent, now this will become 1. So, we will just um, simplify uh, 2y squared and y. So, this will be only equal to 2y. So, the x raised to 0 will only become 1. And we simplify 2y squared over y following the quotient rule. Next example, how about if our given is 3x raised to 0 over y. Um, and this will be all raised to negative 1. What will happen? So, we have to distribute a negative 1 first in our um, terms inside the parentheses. So, we have 3 raised to negative 1. Okay, we distribute negative 1 to positive 3. And also, we distribute a negative 1 to x raised to 0. And also, negative 1 multiplied to y um, raised to negative 1. Okay, and to simplify, x raised to 0 will become 1. Okay, and we only have here y over 3. That's all for today, 7. Goodbye. See you again.